The Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier, nicknamed R-91, is a strong symbol of France's commitment to global power. Launched in 2002, it's the most important ship in the French Navy and the biggest warship ever built in Western Europe. This colossal vessel is a testament to French engineering and naval prowess. The carrier is named after Charles de Gaulle, a very important leader in French history who led the country during World War II and created the Fifth Republic. Like its namesake, the Charles de Gaulle represents French independence, military strength, and a desire to make its own decisions on the world stage. It stands as a floating fortress, ready to project power and influence wherever it sails. Before the Charles de Gaulle, France used two smaller aircraft carriers, the Clemenceau and the Foch. These carriers, while useful, weren't as big or as powerful as American carriers. They served their purpose but lacked the capability to project power on a global scale. France decided to build the Charles de Gaulle to have a strong navy that could operate on its own. This decision marked a significant step in enhancing France's maritime capabilities. The Charles de Gaulle is more than just a warship, it's like a floating embassy, a symbol of French engineering, and a visible reminder of France's dedication to international security. It plays a crucial role in humanitarian missions, disaster relief, and diplomatic engagements. When it's near a conflict zone, it discourages potential enemies and reassures allies. The presence of the Charles de Gaulle is a powerful statement of France's readiness to defend its interests and support its allies around the globe. Building the Charles de Gaulle was a journey filled with ambition, new ideas, and some tough challenges. Deciding to build a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier was a brave choice, showing France's desire for technological independence and a carrier that could go anywhere. However, designing and building such a complex ship, especially one powered by nuclear reactors, caused significant delays and went over budget. Construction began in 1989 at the DCNS shipyard in Brest, France. The project faced many hurdles from the start. Installing the nuclear propulsion system, a first for a non-American carrier, was particularly difficult. The fall of the Soviet Union in 1991 made things even more complicated. With the Cold War over, people questioned the need for such a costly military project. Despite these problems, the French Navy and the shipbuilders kept going. Important steps were reached with the laying of the keel in 1989 and the launch of the hull in 1994. The Charles de Gaulle finally joined the French Navy in 2001, several years late, and much more expensive than planned. The Charles de Gaulle's impressive power comes from its nuclear propulsion system. Two K-15 pressurized water reactors give the carrier almost unlimited range and time at sea. Unlike carriers that need frequent refueling, the Charles de Gaulle can operate for long periods without needing supplies. This independence is vital for France, a country that wants a global naval presence. The nuclear propulsion system not only gives the Charles de Gaulle incredible range, but also lets it reach speeds of up to 29 knots. This speed and maneuverability are important for launching and landing aircraft safely. Also, the carrier's nuclear power plant generates plenty of electricity to power the ship's advanced sensors, weapons, and the crew's daily needs. Besides its propulsion system, the Charles de Gaulle has many advanced technologies that make it a powerful tool for naval warfare. The carrier has a sophisticated multi-role radar system, the DRBJ-15, which can track many targets from far away. The Charles de Gaulle's real strength is its ability to launch aircraft all over the world, thanks to its adaptable air wing. The carrier can hold up to 40 aircraft, including fighter jets, attack planes, helicopters, and support aircraft. This variety of aircraft allows the Charles de Gaulle to perform many missions, from controlling the air and attacking ground targets to scouting and rescuing people. The main fighter jet is the Dassault Rafale M a multi-role fighter made in France. The Rafale M can fight other planes, attack ground targets, and perform reconnaissance missions, making it a very useful tool for the French Navy. Besides the Rafale M, the Charles de Gaulle usually carries Super Etendard Modernize, or SEM, attack aircraft. Even though they are getting old, these planes can still accurately hit ground targets. The carrier's air wing also includes E-2C Hawkeye aircraft, which provide early warning and control from the air. Helicopters are crucial for the Charles de Gaulle, hunting submarines, rescuing people, and transporting troops. Since it started service, the Charles de Gaulle has been involved in several conflicts and crises, 
showing its value as a tool of French foreign policy and its ability to project power far from home. This aircraft carrier has not only been a symbol of French naval strength, but also a critical component in various international missions. The carrier's first combat mission was in 2001, when it participated in Operation Enduring Freedom, the NATO-led mission in Afghanistan after the September 11th attacks. This mission marked a significant moment in the carrier's history, showcasing its operational capabilities on a global stage. The Charles de Gaulle's aircraft patrolled the skies over Afghanistan and attacked Taliban and Al-Qaeda targets. These missions were crucial in disrupting terrorist operations and providing support to ground forces. In 2011, the Charles de Gaulle played a major role in Operation Harmattan, the French-led mission in the Libyan Civil War. This operation was pivotal in enforcing international mandates and supporting the Libyan opposition. The carrier's aircraft flew hundreds of missions, enforcing a no-fly zone over Libya and attacking Libyan government forces. These actions were instrumental in weakening the regime's military capabilities. More recently, the Charles de Gaulle has been fighting ISIS in Iraq and Syria. As part of Operation Shamal, the French military's contribution to the international fight against ISIS, the Charles de Gaulle's aircraft have attacked many ISIS targets. These missions have been vital in degrading the operational capabilities of ISIS and supporting coalition forces on the ground. The carrier's presence in the Middle East shows France's commitment to fighting terrorism and its willingness to use its military to protect its interests abroad. This strategic deployment underscores the importance of maintaining a robust and versatile naval force. The Charles de Gaulle's missions have proven the importance of aircraft carriers in modern warfare and have strengthened its reputation as a powerful and valuable asset for the French military. Its continued service ensures that France remains a key player in global security and defense. To stay strong in an increasingly complex and challenging security environment, the Charles de Gaulle has been modernized and upgraded throughout its service. This modernization is not just about keeping up with the times, it's about anticipating future threats and ensuring the carrier can meet them head on. The upgrades are part of a broader strategy to maintain naval superiority and operational readiness. These upgrades are essential to ensure the carrier remains a powerful and capable platform for the 21st century. The modernization process involves a comprehensive overhaul of various systems, from propulsion to combat capabilities, ensuring that every aspect of the carrier is optimized for peak performance. They focus on improving the carrier's sensors, weapons, and aircraft facilities. Enhanced sensors provide better situational awareness, while upgraded weapons systems ensure the carrier can defend itself and project power effectively. One major upgrade was replacing the carrier's original radar with the more advanced Thales Heracles multifunction radar. This state-of-the-art radar system is a game-changer, offering unparalleled detection and tracking capabilities. This new radar provides better awareness of the surroundings by offering greater range, improved target identification, and better resistance to electronic jamming. It ensures that the Charles de Gaulle can operate in the most contested environments with confidence. The Charles de Gaulle's defenses have also been improved with new electronic warfare systems and the Aster 15 surface-to-air missile system. These enhancements are crucial for protecting the carrier against modern threats. This missile system provides a layered defense against enemy aircraft and missiles, making the carrier safer in dangerous situations. The Aster 15 is known for its precision and reliability, adding a robust layer of security. To handle the newest aircraft, like the Rafale F-3R, the Charles de Gaulle underwent a major refit from 2017 to 2018. This refit was extensive, involving significant upgrades to accommodate the advanced capabilities of modern fighter jets. This refit included improvements to the flight deck, hangar and aircraft launch and recovery systems. These changes ensure that the carrier can efficiently manage the high tempo of modern naval aviation operations. The Charles de Gaulle's modernization programs demonstrate the French Navy's commitment to keeping the carrier at the cutting edge of naval technology. These efforts are a testament to the dedication and foresight of the naval forces, ensuring that the Charles de Gaulle remains a formidable asset in the defense of national and allied interests. The Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier represents French ambition, technological skill, and lasting commitment to global security. 
More than just a warship, the carrier embodies France's determination to remain a leading military power that can act independently on the world stage. The Charles de Gaulle has greatly impacted the French Navy, making it a true blue water force capable of projecting power far from home. Beyond its military capabilities, the Charles de Gaulle is a strong symbol of French national pride and technological achievement. Building the carrier brought the nation together, showing the skills of French industry and engineering. As the carrier continues to sail the seas, it will undoubtedly leave a lasting legacy as a symbol of French power, innovation, and commitment to global security.